a train has to travel the distance between Aurangabad and Dalatabad equal to 20 kilometers at a constant speed. It traveled half the way with the specified speed and stopped for 3 minutes. Now to arrive at Dalatabad on time, it had to increase its speed by 10 km per hour for the rest of the way. Next time the train stopped halfway for 5 minutes. By what speed must it increase its speed for the remaining half of the distance to arrive at Dalatabad as per the schedule. So, so understand the question now very clearly. It says there is a train which has to travel a distance between two stations, Aurangabad and Dalatabad. Yeah which is equal to 20 km, right? The distance is equal to 20 km and it has to travel this at a constant speed, right? This distance has to be covered at a constant speed. Now what happened here? It traveled half the way. It traveled half the way with the specified speed and stopped for three minutes. So out of 20 kilometers, it traveled half the way, which means it traveled 10 kilometers at the specified speed, but then it stopped for three minutes. Now, obviously if the train has stopped for three minutes, it has to now you know, run at a higher rate, at a faster speed, so that it can arrive at Dalatabad on time. So what did it do? It traveled half the way with the specified speed and then stopped for three minutes. Now to arrive at the station on time, to arrive on time, it had to increase its speed by how much? 10 km per hour. It had to increase its speed by 10 km per hour for the rest of the way. Rest of the way here is the other half, 10 km. Right, so understand, it traveled half the way means it traveled 10 kilometers. Rest of the way here means 10 kilometers because total distance is 20 kilometers very clearly. So half is 10 and the other half is 10. Now next time, some other time what happened? The train stopped halfway for 5 minutes. This time in this case it stopped only for 3 minutes. But next time it seems the train stopped in the middle after half way of distance being covered. It stopped for 5 minutes this time. So by what speed should it increase its speed this time? So that the remaining half which means the remaining 10 kilometers of the distance uh, you know, can be covered as per the schedule, right? It can arrive at Dalatabad as per the schedule. So I'm sure all of you have understood what the question is, right? So, so let's work on the solution now. What do we do? Uh, let's say, let's say these are the two stations, right? Aurangabad and Dalatabad. The distance to be covered is 10 kilo, uh, 20 kilometers, right? Total distance to be covered is 20 kilometers. Now, there's some speed of this train. I mean, this train is moving in this direction. Let's assume the speed of the train is S. It runs at the speed S. And the time taken to cover this distance is T. See, there is, he's talking about some schedule, right? I mean, there's some schedule which has to be followed, right? To arrive Dalatabad on time, to reach Dalatabad as per the schedule, which means it, there's some time which is uh, given that it has to cover this distance in, ten, in so much of time, right? Distance of 20 kilometers at speed S and in time T. Yeah, that's a basic equation. Now, you know that distance is equal to speed into time. So, can you say S into T? The train has to travel at the speed of S kilometers per hour for T hours, for T hours to cover the distance of 20 kilometers. So, S into T equals to 20. That's first equation. That's a very basic equation, you know, right? Speed into time is 20. S into T equals to 20. Now, what happened in the uh, real case? In the real case, it traveled halfway then it stopped for three minutes and then it had to increase the speed by 10 km per hour for the other half so that it can reach on time. So if you if you actually see in the real case the distance was covered in the, the, the journey was covered in three parts. There were three parts to the journey, right? This is the track let's say. It traveled 10 at some speed s, I mean the same speed s. But it traveled the other 10 at s plus 10 km per hour because it increased its speed by 10 km per hour, right? So it traveled 10 kilometers at S speed, the other 10 kilometers it had to increase the speed by 10 kilometers per hour. Why? Because halfway it stopped for 3 minutes. There was a stoppage involved here. How much of stop? 3 minutes of stop. Yes or no? The stop involved was 3 minutes. Now, again remember that even in these 3 parts, when it traveled the first half at 10 kilometers per hour, I mean at some speed S, then the other 10 kilometers at S plus 10 and also included the a break of 3 minutes here, the total time to be taken is T only. The total time cannot change. The total time is T. It has to reach Dalatabad on the same, um, you know, in, on time, right? So total time is T. So can you say, in the second case, the total time T, total time T is equal to time taken to cover 10 kilometers 
plus stoppage time. I mean, you have to, you should not be writing this equation in the exam waste of time, right? Stoppage time plus time taken to cover the other 10 kilometer. So this is like first 10 kilometer and the second 10 kilometer, first half and second half. So there are three parts to the journey, right? First half coverage, second half coverage in the stoppage time. So can I now say that the total time T is equal to, see what is time? Time is equal to distance by speed. Time is equal to distance by speed. How, how much is the distance covered here? 10 kilometers. At what speed? At the speed S. At the speed S, right? First half was covered at S. Plus three minutes of stoppage time. Three minutes of stoppage time. Three minutes. But since we are dealing with uh, kilometers and kilometers per hour, this minute should be converted to hours. So three minutes is equal to what? Three by 60 hours. Yes or no? Plus the time taken to cover the uh, second half second 10 kilometers so time is equal to distance by speed so distance is 10 and speed distance is 10 and what is the speed s plus 10 that's the equation and from the first equation can i say that t is equal to 20 by s that's it substitute it here so what happens we get one equation in terms of s which you can solve so i think it's all about solving this equation now you have to just work on solving for s either solve for s or solve for t any one yeah you can replace s equals to 20 by t otherwise if, if you're not comfortable with replacing t with s you can replace s with t whichever way you have to solve for the variables so t equals to 20 by s so what do we get 20 by s equals to now on the left right hand side let me take the lcm so s into s plus 10 into 60 yeah s into s plus 10 into 60 so what happens 10 into 60 into s plus 10 plus 3 into s into s plus 10 i'm sure this is going to lead to a quadratic equation right plus uh, 10 into s into 60 yeah solve for it now what happens i think s and s gets cancelled uh, and and i think that's it we'll have to deal with the equation now yeah so so let me let me solve for this now i'm, I'm going to directly multiply because there is some sh shortage of space here 20 into 60 1200 Right, I'm cross multiplying this. 20 into 60, 1200, 1200s. Or let me do one thing. 1200 into s plus 10. 1200 times of s plus 10 equals to 10 into 60, 600 times of s plus 10. Plus 3s times of s plus 10. Plus 600s. Yeah, 600s. Uh, so, so if I take this to the other side, what happens? 600 times of S plus 10 goes to the other side, becomes minus 600. Minus 600, so 1200 minus 600 will give you 600. So I think overall it becomes 600. I'm not writing that step, but yeah, that's what happens, right? Minus 600. So 1200 minus 600 is 600. So 600 S into 600 into 10, I mean 600 S plus 600 into 10 equals to 3S square plus 30S plus 600 S. Simplify this now. So 600 S plus 6000 equals to 3s squared plus 30s plus 600s so 600 and 600 gets cancelled what do we get 3s square plus 30s minus 6000 or if i take 3 common this is 10 and this is 2000 so the equation is what s squared plus 10s minus 2000 equals to 0 yeah this will give you s Okay, there's only one part of the question, let me tell you. There's another part left there. I mean, we are really trying to find out the speed. So, solve for this S now, what happens? I think uh, minus 2000, right? We should take 50 minus 40. I'm doing it mentally, huh? I'm sure you know how to solve quadratic equations. So, minus 2000, yeah, I think 50 minus 40. So, 50 minus 40 is 10 and 50 into minus 40 will give you minus 2000. So, 50 minus 40, S into S plus 50 plus... 1 into s minus 40 so i think we'll get minus 50 and plus 40 as the values yeah so this will give you s equals to either minus 50 or plus 40 you know that speed cannot be negative so we can say that the speed is 40 kilometers per hour so final answer is that the speed is equal to 40 kilometers per hour 40 kilometers per hour yeah now understand we are we are we have not solved the question we have only solved first part of it right we have got the speed you can you can definitely cut down the number of steps here i have given you a detailed explanation so we have found the speed s 40 kilometers per hour now you need to understand what actually happened so it, it traveled first half at 40 kilometers per hour remember this speed was 40 
and second half at what speed 40 plus 10 50 kilometers per hour so it stopped for three minutes and then it had to travel at the speed of 50 kilometers per hour so so basically uh, if s is 40 how much is time time will be equal to what time will be equal to 20 by 40 which is half an hour right half an hour one by two hours 30 minutes yeah I'm substituting s equals to 40 there so time comes out to be half an hour I'm, I'm running short of space sorry about this so what do we do next I think I, I, I'll, I'll do one thing I'll just clear one part of the solution so that I have some space to work on right I'll, I'm, I'm removing this equation here so we know that the time required is 30 minutes so basically the train will run at 40 kilometers per hour for 30 minutes to cover the distance yes or no 40 kilometers per hour at 30 minutes in 30 minutes will cover the 20 kilometers distance yeah now see now now come to the real case just a second yeah now the second part of the question starts so i know that the time required is 30 minutes 30 minutes now understand in the first case this 30 minute of speed is what uh, in the first case i think the 30 minutes was split as the train travels for 15 minutes yeah plus 3 minutes break plus 12 minutes of traveling so in the first 15 minutes it covers first half of the distance 10 kilometers at the speed 40 in this after three minutes of break then only 12 minutes are left out in the remaining 12 minutes it increases the speed by 10 kilometers per hour so the speed becomes 50 and it covers the remaining 10 kilometers of the distance now what happens in the second case he says next time next time the train stopped halfway for five minutes so halfway meaning it covered the first uh, 10 kilometers in 15 minutes as usual but this time it stopped for five minutes now the point is out of 30 minutes see the train has to still reach as per the schedule there is no increase in the time right the time is 30 minutes only but out of that 30 minutes 15 minutes of travel and 5 minutes of stoppage 20 minutes are already spent so the remaining time is only 10 minutes the remaining time is only 10 minutes now this becomes the key these 10 minutes are important so now what happens is the train has to cover the remaining distance what is the remaining distance 10 kilometers at in how much time 10 minutes it has to cover 10 kilometers in just 10 minutes so find out the speed so the speed s dash let's say you know that speed is equal to distance by time right so speed will be big, what distance by time see 10 kilometers in 10 minutes means 60 kilometers per hour 10 by 10 by 60 right i mean speed is equal to distance by time time 10 minutes will be taken as 10 by 60 hours so it comes out to be 60 kilometers per hour yeah so what happened the train has to run at 60 kilometers per hour which means by what speed must it increase its speed see he's asking us to find out the increment in the speed how much is the increment in the speed the new speed is 60 the earlier speed was 40 for the first half the speed was 40 only right so 60 minus 40 the speed had to increase by 20 kilometers per hour yeah it increases by 20 kilometers per hour sorry the new speed is 60 from that new speed 60 from that new speed 60 subtract the original speed original speed is 40 here so 60 minus 40 20 kilometers per hour right so the increment in the speed is 20 kilometers per hour i know it looks to be like a lengthy solution because i was giving you a detailed explanation with all the steps here you can you can cut a lot of these points and save your precious time i mean i mean i don't think you have to uh, if you if you really look at it you have to draw this diagram and all. i mean this is not needed it's only for the this, this is just the explanation right not the solution the solution is this you got to understand this equation i mean sorry i'm highlighting it in red but that's that's one step that you need to understand clearly because it, it is from this step that we are finding out the speed now the calculation of speed takes a little bit of time yeah calculation of speed takes a little bit of time but otherwise it's fine so i think the two most important equations to be focused on are these speed sorry speed into time is 20 this is one equation the other equation is that time is equal to 10 by s plus 3 by 60 plus 10 by s plus 10 so these two equations you have to solve to get s and t and then this part needs to be understood how do we break up in the two cases after that get the new speed